to enjoy restaurants out and then recreate it at home. It's literally the best thing ever. Use the glass containers instead of the plastic ones. Oh no, I have to have it. I'm gonna be making my own soup. I'm not gonna get the prepackaged ramen. I'm gonna make my own soup concoction. It's gonna be good. Ramen looks so good. This is like one of the best places. Toppings, when it comes to like soup, I love all the different toppings. Just uh, some research for my jarred soup recipe. I always love it at restaurants because I get so much inspiration for what I wanna make back at home, meals I wanna prep, recipes I wanna create to enjoy restaurants out and then recreate it at home. Maybe find some dumplings to put in my jarred soup. That would be good. These jars have at least 99 uses and one of my favorites is tasty meals. Let's master mason jar meal prep. I think you'll love these variations of mason jar soup. Let's start with our soup base and this comes in so many varieties. Nope. I'm gonna start off making a chicken noodle soup to go. It's gonna be carrots, some onion. I love peas. A little dill, a little shake of thyme, a little spinach for extra veggies. Ooh, I didn't do the chicken yet. I forgot a step! A little shredded chicken in this one. Save some effort with a rotisserie or pre-cooked chicken. And some pre-cooked egg noodles. So it's like 100 degrees outside, and I was like, oh, I don't know about hot soup, but this is so good. And their AC is working overtime. <laughs> So it's freezing in here, so it makes the ramen even better because it's so cold in here. It's freezing. I could use a jacket and pants, but the ramen's helping. And I'm gonna turn this jar into delicious tortilla soup. Soup base is in the jar. I'm gonna add some cumin, a little bit of taco seasoning, some fajita mix. I love to start with frozen vegetables as a grocery store shortcut, but those vegetables should be thawed before you add your hot water. Frozen veggies are great because they won't need to be pre-cooked. Some small broccoli florets. Bit of corn. You can add a little bit of your favorite salsa to the base. For this one, you could leave it veggie or add some chicken or cooked ground meat. Get crazy and add some canned black beans. I like to pack some tortilla strips to pair with that tortilla soup. I forgot about my drink. I love these things. So... Of course me. <laughs> All right, just a little extra flavor in my lychee drink. They design these differently. They used to be just like a flat top with the uh, part that you push in, but it looks like they're designed a little differently now. All right, here we go. What's happening? Oh, it is the same. I have to pop it out of there. All right, this is what I'm used to. The design is a little different. One, two, three. Always so fun. Delicious. And there's instructions right on it that I did not read. <laughs> I thought I was a pro. I thought I knew how to do it. I love meal preps like this because really anything goes. You can keep that jar in the fridge until you're ready to eat. You can also let that jar sit out a little bit to take off the chill before you add your water. It's soup time. Just get in there and mix everything up. Ooh, this smells so good. That dill was a good addition. This is a perfect meal on the go because hot water is usually really easy to get. Coffee shops will usually give you hot water for free or a small fee. One of the benefits of this mason jar soup is those noodles won't get soggy. I love that this is super customizable. Switch things up to your taste preferences. You are for lunch tomorrow. I just love mason jars. They make perfect containers for leftover ingredients. Mm, that's actually so good. So comforting. Give me soup and I'm happy. Simba, it is time. The pumpkin cream cold brew is back. I think it gets better every year. They must just put more sugar and who knows what else is in here. It's literally the best thing ever. You don't need fancy equipment to make great coffee. Here's how to turn a mason jar into your favorite coffee tool. Let's make cold brew in a mason jar. A typical ratio is one ounce of coarse ground coffee for every cup of water. But to simplify this, I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of grounds per cup of water. And my mason jar is a measuring cup because it has the measurements right on the side. Add in the grounds and use those measurement lines for the water. Top it off. Give it a little stir, make sure all those grounds are nice and saturated. Cap it and fridge it for 12 hours. This heals all the worries of the world. All the wrongs are now right. All the sadness is now joy. <laughs> pumpkin can solve the world's problems. Beautiful layers, the cascading pumpkin cream down into the dark cold brew. When Hilary Duff said this is what dreams are made of, she was a prophet. She was speaking of the future. In the future is this pumpkin cream cold brew. If I put it in this cart, I'm gonna risk it falling over and it spilling, so I'm just gonna hold it and take care of it like a tender baby child. 12 hours, I kinda need to pick me up now. 
Guess I'll make mason jar pour over. Tuck the filter into the jar and fold over the sides. The key here, just loosely put that ring on so it's easy to remove. Add your grounds in, and then just gently pour over your hot water. Be careful because it's hot, but remove that ring and then gently remove those grounds. That was coffee, quick. 12 hours later in the same outfit and I haven't showered. <laughs> JK movie magic. We're gonna use some cheesecloth to strain. And just the ring, carefully pour into a clean jar. If you're fresh out of cheesecloth, try a funnel and just a regular coffee filter. Most cold brew ratios are concentrated, so you'll want to dilute with water. And the rest, you can just store in the fridge. This happens sometimes. I did a store pickup, a grocery pickup. So I'm gonna pick up the groceries in a little bit, but there's a couple items I forgot, so I have to run in for like the three items I forgot and then go pick up the bulk of the groceries. I guess it defeats the purpose of doing, but hey, none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. No matter how old you get, you never grow out of ramen. Shen ramen has been my favorite lately, especially the super spicy one. No added MSG. <laughs> we didn't add MSGs, there's just already MSG in there. <laughs> I'm gonna be making my own soup. I'm not gonna get the prepackaged ramen. I'm gonna make my own soup concoction. It's gonna be good. I'm making some fun desserts, so I need to pick up some pound cake. This is how you usually get whipped cream, but this is how I do it. Here's how to make mason jar whipped cream. You need a cold jar, so I put mine in the freezer for about five minutes. Nice and chilled, cold, heavy cream. Start off with about a cup, I just eyeball it. And some jars have the measurements right on there. Couple tablespoons of powdered sugar, add more if you like it sweet. And a dash of vanilla. All right, you ready for the workout? Shake it up. You'll need to do this for about a minute. Alexa, play Taylor Swift, shake it off. I'm just teasing, it really doesn't take that much effort. I love this because you don't need any equipment, just a jar and the whipped cream ingredients. And then I like this shaking technique where you just roll it back and forth. You should hear it go from a liquidy sound to a more light and hollow sound. Oh, I heard it change. There it goes. See, you can't hear any liquid anymore. Ooh, there it is. Light and fluffy and the perfect portion. Just be careful to not overmix. One of the easiest recipes made the simplest way. Corn, corn, corn. Oh, shucks. No, nope, just kidding. That's what I need. One more thing I forgot off the list. And I went the wrong way. But here we are. This is a fancy grocery pickup area. Look at this. Tell the app I am here. You may be wondering, did I steal this car? No, I didn't. It's a rental because the Jeep is in the shop, sadly. And uh, this is the temporary whip. So here we are, riding around in more luxury than I'm used to. <laughs> my temporary whip, my temporary whip. Uh, what are these called? Shifter paddle things. I don't know, never used them. Don't know how they work. I got sport mode when I'm feeling fast. Comfort mode, that's usually what I roll in. Eco pro, don't know what that is, but I bet you it saves gas. Me my BMW, I feel like a real estate agent or like somebody in marketing. Hello. Hello. What was the name on order? Christopher. Grocery pickup is wonderful when you don't actually have to go into the grocery store to pick up four items you forgot. My bad. The universe sometimes sends you messages. Yesterday, I wanted to go to this place called The Deuce. It's right here. It's a really cool place here in Phoenix. They've got a boxing ring in there and they've got really cute, cool, like mason jar desserts and foods and cocktails. So it was, I was gonna get my mason jar inspiration from in there. So yesterday they weren't open the day that I wanted to go. Today I tried back because they said they'd be open and guess what? Closed for a private event. So now we're gonna do a little segment on party crashing. Just kidding. <laughs> I made it. I tried to come here the other day. They were closed, but I made it in this time. This place is a lot of fun. The aesthetic is really, really cool inside of there. It's it's kind of like avant-garde. It's really different, which makes it really unique. This place is awesome. It's like 80s prom in here right now, even with the soundtrack. And of course, because everything is in a mason jar, like I had to do some reconnaissance, I had to check it out. But it's such a fun, like eclectic, wild place. The bakery over there, I wonder what they have. So this is awesome. Salad in a jar, that looks delicious. It's like a light vinaigrette on here, corn. Really good. I don't wanna pick this up because it's very hot. Pot pie in a little jar. This is a breakfast pot pie. So when we ordered these, I didn't really get that one order is two of these. I think I over ordered. It's okay though. Can never be mad at leftovers, you know? 
If you have a sweet tooth, a mason jar is exactly what you need. Here's some easy to assemble delicious desserts. This is an ideal vessel for a perfectly portioned dessert. One of the easiest is chia seed pudding. And as a treat, you can use your favorite chocolate beverage. Fill it up the rest of the way. Whoa, Splash City. Get your ponchos, we've got a splash zone. And since this is unsweetened, I'm gonna add a little agave. Cap it and shake it. Make sure that lid's on tight. Ch -ch -ch chia Let this sit in the fridge and thicken up. Perfect dessert. When you're looking for mason jars, there's only one place to come. The home, the capital of mason jars, Walmart. All the mason jar things one could think of, all in one place. Now let me tell you, over the years, I've done far too much with mason jars. I already have like two boxes full of mason jars at the house. I have small ones. I have ones those size. I have a couple big mason jars. Oh, these are so big. There's so many of them. I don't know what to do. We're gonna go with the big ones. Sure, why not? Look at these jumbos. You know what this is good for? Like dried goods for all the pantry stuff. Mason jars are cheaper than some of the other brands of storage containers. And see, perfect. It's right next to the food storage systems because they're one and the same. Use the glass containers instead of the plastic ones. One of my favorite desserts is banana pudding. This is a quick, easy assembly. I made packaged instant pudding right in a mason jar. Got our vanilla cookies. Crush those up right in the bottom. A few bananas. Spoon or pour in your pudding. More cookies. These smell so good. A few more bananas. Top it off with pudding. Practically perfect. So cute. Let these sit in the fridge for a bit, then enjoy. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Hi, yes. Just checking the list to see what else I need. I found the right size, so I tested it. This size doesn't fit on them, but this side does. That should be, that's about right, right? I'll get these too. Finding so many fun things. Wood lids, regular lid. You can even get Dr. Squash soap. Don't be fooled. This is not for mason jars. Just happens to be chilling there for some reason. I've got to get out of here before I get every single size of mason jar possible. This is a quick little parfait slash strawberry shortcake. I'm using angel food cake, but you can use pound cake pieces. Boop, boop. Oh, this perfect cute little strawberry. Add a few strawberries, whipped cream. You can make them from scratch or store-bought. And then do another layer of the cake. I'm gonna go back in with some whipped cream and then more fresh berries on top. A simple, light, tasty dessert. And I love this recipe, no-bake cheesecake jars. Yes, jars, not bars. Ooh, these look so good. And this is only a few ideas. There's so many ways to jar a dessert. Not that I need another water bottle, but I saw on, somebody on Instagram had one of these and I was like, oh no, I have to have it. And I know it's another water bottle, but the universe, life, put one in my life. Oh man, do I have to get it? I put it on my purchase list, my like my wish list of things I want to get. See, look, it's on my list of things I want to get. Here it is in real life, IRL, classic American, the freak out about, <laughs> freak out about a water bottle. 